Welcome back and thank you for joining us for part two of this tutorial on how to apply for scholarships, awards, and bursaries using our Scholarship and Awards Management System, or SAMS for short. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of finding and filtering for awards to apply for on SAMS. Before we begin, I just want to note that at the U of R, we have two categories of students that correspond with the type of scholarships they can apply for. The first are entrance students who apply for entrance scholarships, awards, and bursaries. The second type are continuing students who apply for continuing scholarships, awards, and bursaries. As students that are entering the U of R, you will be applying for entrance awards. All right, let's get started. Once you log in, you'll come to a home screen. This will provide a variety of options depending on how familiar you are with SAMS and what your current student type is. At the U of R, we have award competitions for continuing students that open at the beginning of each school term. For our entrance students, the award competition opens mid-January each year. So when you are at the home page, I recommend selecting Awards Currently Accepting Applications, as this option will automatically filter for awards that are currently taking applications. Please be sure to note A, what type of student you are, and B, when awards are open for you, so that when you select this option, you are viewing the correct award types. As you can see, there is now a huge list of awards for you to begin filtering through. I like to think about this process like it's online shopping, except you're not shopping for shoes, but rather for free money. You're going to go through the awards, find the ones that you think you will qualify for, and apply for them all with one application. To be more strategic with your application, I recommend that you filter down the award list further. First, go to Actions at the top of the screen. Then, select Filter. This will provide some filtering fields to choose from. Under Column, select Faculty of Study. Under Operator, select Contains. And finally, under Expression, select the first choice faculty. For this example, I'm going to select Nursing. The reason that I wanted to use nursing for this example is because it's a competitive program. Students who have applied to a competitive program such as nursing, music, music education, fine arts, le baccalauréat en éducation, or indigenous education also often apply to a second choice program to ensure that no matter the circumstances, they have a spot in a program at the U of R come the fall. Most students will only need to filter for awards for their first choice program and awards open for all students from all faculties. But for students that have applied to a competitive program, I would recommend filtering for both your first choice faculty, then your second choice faculty, then finally for awards open to all faculties. This way, no matter which program you end up receiving admission to, you will have applied for awards to the corresponding faculty. Once a final decision is made on your application, we will automatically remove the awards that you no longer qualify for from your application. Now, once you apply the filter, these are the award options available for students that have applied to the Faculty of Nursing. Click on the name of the award that you'd like to review and see the eligibility criteria. This is the layout of the award criteria page. Each award will be organized roughly the same Included on each page are A, the eligibility criteria, and B, a list that indicates if the award targets specific types of students. This could include students that illustrate financial need, self-identify as female or indigenous or single parents or mature students or have accessibility needs, are planning to study part-time, participate in athletics, have a specific status within Canada, have a specific residency, will graduate from a specific school or region, and more. Let's go through the criteria for the Agnes Stevenson Cook Entrance Award in Nursing. First, we can see that this award states that it is for students entering the Faculty of Nursing. Next, it's for students that register and remain registered in a minimum of nine credit hours in the semester the award is presented in. Now, usually at this point, my students look at me with panic in their eyes because they've not selected courses yet. This is completely okay. Course registration will not happen for first year students until the end of April. So please do not panic. You're not supposed to have registered for classes yet. 
This is where having a notepad or a Word document handy to record the requirements of the awards you are interested in will be helpful. You can keep a note of how many classes you need to be enrolled in to receive this award. At the U of R, one standard class is equivalent to three credit hours. The reason it is three is that you will be in that one class for three hours per week. The more classes you take, the more hours you will be physically in class each week. To be considered a full-time student, you must be registered in 9 to 15 credit hours or 3 to 5 classes. To be considered as a part-time student, you will take 3 to 6 credit hours or 1 to 2 classes. While you do not need to decide at the exact moment how many classes you plan to register in come April, it is helpful to have a tentative idea. Some programs, such as nursing, require you to be in a full 5 classes, while other programs, such as arts, are more flexible. For example, because I was pursuing a Bachelor of Arts with a major in History, I could be flexible with the number of classes I took. I personally only took four classes for my first two years of school in order to allow myself the space to transition to moving away from home as well as starting university. I then took summer classes to graduate within a four-year time period. I checked before making this decision to ensure that the scholarships and awards that I applied for did not require me to be in more than four classes. The last two requirements for this award state that the recipient must demonstrate financial need and involvement in the community as a volunteer. Now, review the section that details if the award is targeted towards a specific group. For this specific award, only students that demonstrate financial need are targeted. So at this point, you've now reviewed all the requirements for the award. If you feel like you'll qualify for the award, you can add it to your shopping cart by selecting Apply for Award. Then return to your filtered results by selecting Return to Inquiry. Go through the remainder of the awards to determine if you will meet the award criteria and add the ones you think you will qualify for to your shopping cart. Once you have added all the awards under your first choice faculty, then you will clear the filter. Then you will create a new filter. For students that have applied to a competitive program, this will be a filter with your second choice faculty. The process is the same as before. Go to Actions, then Filter, and enter Faculty of Study under Column. Then under Operator, select Contains. And finally, the faculty of your second choice should be placed under Expression. For this example, I selected the Faculty of Science. From the filtered list, I selected the Frederick W. and Bertha A. Wenzel Entrance Award. Let's go through the criteria for this award. First, this award will be awarded to a student that is considered a Canadian citizen or landed immigrant who is entering directly from a Saskatchewan high school. This means that to be considered for this award, you need to be graduating from grade 12 this spring and planning to start at the U of R immediately in the fall. Next, you must be admitted to a pre-medicine program. Just a reminder that pre-medicine is not a formal program, but merely a designation on your academic advising file that notifies your academic advising team of your future goals. Then you must be registered and remain registered in a minimum of 15 credit hours, or 5 classes, in the semester that the award is presented in. For entrance scholarships, they will all be awarded during the fall semester of a student's first year. You must also have a minimum early conditional admission average of 80%. The early conditional admission average is the average that we calculate when you apply to the U of R. It is a combination of approved grade 11 and grade 12 classes. Talk to your recruiter if you'd like to discuss how we made this calculation. You can discover who your recruiter is by talking to your guidance counselor or principal. Finally, you also must demonstrate financial need. I discuss how you can meet these requirements in Part 3, Completing the Application. Now review the section that details if the award is targeted towards a specific group. For this specific award, this list reminds us that you will need to state that you have financial need, your status within Canada, and the name of the high school you'll be graduating from. Once you have reviewed that award and decide that you qualify for it, you can select Apply for Award and then select Back to Inquiry. Continue to review the other awards in your filter. Then, once you've added all the awards that you feel like you will qualify for into your shopping cart, 
it's time for the final filter. Just like before, clear the filter and create a new filter. This is the final filter for all students. You will select Action, then Filter, and enter Faculty of Study under Column, then under Operator select Contains, and finally All under Expression. For this example, I have selected the Alan Blakeney Entrance Scholarship. Let's go through the criteria for this award. First, this scholarship is awarded to a student that is considered full-time, so in three to five classes, and that is starting their first year in a direct entry program at the U of R. There are no restrictions regarding which faculty of study or federated college a student is required to be studying through. Next, applicants must be Saskatchewan residents. Applicants will also need to demonstrate both academic achievement in high school which would be defined as a 75% early conditional admission average, and interest contributions and aptitude for activities relating to society's institutions or governments and public service. They also list an example of activities that would showcase those required traits. Students must also request a reference letter from their high school principal. I discuss the parameters of reference letters in the next video called Part 3, Completing the Application, but know that this letter must be sent directly to the U of R from your principal. Now review the section that details if the award is targeted towards a specific group. For this specific award, this list reminds us that you will need to demonstrate your residency within Saskatchewan, as well as the type of school you are attending and what school you'll be graduating from. Once you have reviewed the award and decide that you qualify for it, you can select Apply for Award and then select Back to Inquiry. Continue to review the other awards in your filter. The next step in the scholarship application process, once you've added all the awards you want to apply for into your shopping cart, is to select Go to My Applications. By selecting this, you are going to review all the awards that you included in your shopping cart and begin completing the award requirements. The process for this is detailed in the video titled Part 3, Completing the Application. Thanks for joining me! Be sure to watch part 3, Completing the Application, to learn how to effectively apply for scholarships, awards, and bursaries that you've included in your shopping cart. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Student Awards and Financial Aid at safa.uregina.ca. At